I say it's Friday. It is in the evening and we're out here both after work. Um, yeah, I've been at the recording studio all afternoon and Steven's been pushing papers, doing his uh, typing emails, all this um, admin stuff that he's gotten himself into now best way to celebrate getting out of the office is getting back onto the trail. Lights called me up. He said, hey man, want to go for a run? I was like, I absolutely want to get out of this chair and back outside. So come outside with us. Let's get some miles in. Mmm. Tastes like the general public. Back in my day, we didn't have poison to do that. If you had to work, <laughs> you could just get it. <laughs> when we were kids, poison ivy had four leaves. Lost the leaves there after the Second World War. <laughs> what? I'm not even sure what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of old man stories. We had to run with the canteen. Backpack, iPhone, iPhone charger. Running into the sunset down the trail. Here we go. How much have you run this week, Steven? Oh, embarrassing. Uh, this will make a whole six miles total for the week. Six miles. I know. No smiles here. Boo, you can do better. You're better than that. You will do better. You will do better. But you were recovering from being sick. It's true. Yeah, running is great to get you back in shape, get your lungs going again and get out in nature and uh, breathe some fresh air. You should get out there uh, certainly this month while the uh, temperature is good and the uh, and it's not too cold yet, so you won't get any throat problems when you breathe cold air, so <laughs> come on out and join us. Somebody won. Unlikely battle. I don't know if it's a hornet. What is that thing? I don't know, but it got a spider and a big one for its size. Somebody tell us what that is. Okay. Hit it in the comments below. We are not bug experts, whatever those things. It's a mall. Oh shit. Oh. Oh my god. And now there's a snake. Wow. We are uh, just encountering a lot of stuff tonight. Oh, he's coming towards me. There you go. Off that way. Right. Bye bye. So we need an entomologist and a reptilian. Rep rep know, reptilian air? Or uh, what are they? Yeah, reptilian air. We don't want to scare you, but we almost never see stuff like that on the trail. So, kind of caught us off guard, especially out here on a busy evening like this, to see that much animal activity down on the ground. So, probably won't see too much more though. Go ahead and get out and get your run in uh, after work. Today we did uh, just over three miles, maybe 3.4. What do you think? 3.33, according to my watch. It's the 0.33 that really matters. It is. That's why we did a little bonus section of trail, because I'm all about the bonuses. We saw a dead spider getting eaten, and then we saw a, di a small baby diamondback just trying to find a... Was it so a diamondback? Certainly diamond in shape. What else would you call it? Copperhead? Uh, copperhead. I think it was a copperhead. Well, we'll have you guys verify for us. That's right. I mean, we are Eagle Scouts after all, but <laughs> we didn't get that good of a look at it. It's kind of getting dark. So if you're in the North Texas area, you need a trail to run, we definitely recommend Arbor Hills, uh, both for mornings and evenings. Lots of people out here, lots of safety, lots of lights and pavement if you want to stick to that and trails if you want to do that. So 
uh, join us next time. Um, and we'll see you again for another run. Enjoy, guys.